Welcome to All About the Bay. Good afternoon, my name is Terry Teal, and today we are interviewing Paul LaJoy. Uh, All About the Bay is a business-to-business -business networking platform. It is for small business owners, and uh, Paul's gonna be talking to us today about his business, which is Money Market, Inc. Welcome, Paul. And, Thank you, Terry. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you, too. So how long have you been in real estate? Man, I've been in real estate since 2005. That's like how many years now? 17 years. But before that, I actually bought my first property one year after I moved to California. I moved in California in 2001. I bought my first property in Manteca, of all places. Okay, now it's developed, but of all places, in 2002. And then I sold that property, you know, in 2004. I thought, wow, man, I got a license, real estate license, and I started doing real estate. And what attracted you initially to real estate? Well, the thing is that, that's a good question, because when I was in Manteca, at that time, Manteca was not developed at all. They didn't have a stadium, they didn't have a, they didn't have a mall. And every time I, I worked in Fremont, right? And so every time I come to work, I have to drive for an hour and a half. And so I bought this house in Manteca, and I would go home at nine o'clock, and the whole place is dead, right? So there were no restaurants. So guess, guess what I did? I watched uh, television and I saw this infomercial by uh, Carlton Sheets, no money down, absolutely no money down. So I bought a series of uh, his CDs, or 13 CDs. And so now every time I'm driving to Fremont, I'm always listening to, the, to those CDs. So I learned a lot, you know, I became an investor. And so he said, you know what? You should get your real estate license and I got my real estate license, and my first transaction was in Hayward Hills. I didn't even know anything about real estate sales. But guess what? That first transaction was now than $25,000, a big mansion. And the person that bought it was one of my colleagues. I didn't even show the property. I did not show the property. She just, I just told her about it. She went there and took a, took a look. And then, of course, and she, uh, when, uh, that was my first sale, $23,000. Okay, and it's like, this is amazing. The broker cut me a commission for $14,000. I thought, wow, my goodness, $14,000? I was getting paid only about less than $60,000 a year. So my first commission, without even going and you know, showing the property, was $14,000. So that lady, that colleague of mine asked me to list her property in Dublin. It was a small condo. So guess what happened? I listed it, that was my first listing. Okay, I listed it, and, uh, and the person that bought that condo was actually another colleague. Before I realized, everybody wanted to buy real estate through me, all my colleagues. So my phone started ringing off the hook, you know, by November, that was in April. By November, I decided, you know, this is what I want to do. And you no, know, when I was working full time as a program manager, I sit in a cubicle. But now with real estate, I could see different parts of the Bay Area. And now the, my phone is ringing like that, I kind of felt like, whoa. I prefer to do that. I prefer to be, I'm a happy person. More exciting. So my name is Paula Joy. So it was great to see some beautiful homes and stuff like that, and then give people the keys and just meet their needs and stuff like that. So I thought, okay, after, after six months, I decided to go into real estate full time. So you like helping people and it made you feel good and you were very successful. My name is Paul the Joy, you know, so I like <laughs> to help people. I like, I like to bring joy to people. <laughs> That's it. Okay. And why did you start the money market and what exactly do you do with the money market? Oh, yeah, the money market, it's a long story because, again, when I started real estate, what happened was that basically the market crashed, okay, in 2008. <laughs> everybody knows that. So now, guess what, 2009? I became the top broker for City Mortgage, selling bank-owned properties. So I sold bank-owned properties from Santa Cruz Mountains all the way to Santa, Santa Rosa. Was that the short sale market? Or no, it, it, yeah, it short sale, but actually foreclosures. Okay. I sold a lot of bank-owned properties, okay? So then guess what? Then everybody wanted to get into that trade. And now guess what happened? Okay, I thought there's a time for me to get out. So I started buying properties instead, right? And so I got this opportunity to buying properties from, from Chase and also Wells Fargo. So when they foreclose on properties, instead of deluging the market with foreclosed assets, they'll bring the assets to us. We'll buy them on the community first. 
That's why I said it, an investment company called Community First. So we we'll buy them, fix them up, and put them in the market. So we actually help improve the market a lot because we got involved in what they call Neighborhood Stabilization Program, NSP. Okay. So we're buying those properties cheap and then fix them up and then put them back on the market. And we, we're helping the first time home buyers buy these properties with little or no money out of the pocket. Actually, they got grants from the cities. Right, so we we'll sell these properties for to them for one hundred and fifty thousand, one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Fast forward to two thousand seventeen, this property has gone up in value by many times over. A typical real estate agent, what do you do? You're gonna go and door knock and say we want to sell your home. So I did that. Hey, I, I sold this property for one sixty five. Now it's worth five hundred thousand dollars. What, what, what do you want to sell it? You know, I say, oh, you know, everywhere has gone up, right, Paul? You know, we're not gonna sell. So I thought, man, I'm leaving a lot of money on the table. So why don't I do this? Okay, I can make you, I, I made you that money that you, you bought that property, no money down, and you have a ton of equity in that property. So can we help you refinance that property school so that you can move up to a better location or and keep that property still or whatever you want to do, you can become an investor, a landlord right now. So that's why I did this. That's why I started the money market, yes. And what makes you stand out, do you think, from other mortgage brokers? Oh, yeah. So basically, our slogan is we say the money market is the Amazon for mortgage solutions, right? So some mortgage brokers or some lenders in the bank, if you go to Chase, for example, you don't have a lot of, they don't cater to, they might not cater to small business owners, okay? Uh, they might not because they don't have programs, they only have full, full documentation. For us, we got the whole gamut, okay? So we have full doc. You know, I could cater to people with little or no money down. Remember when I started, uh, Carlton Sheets was talking about no money down. So I can cater to people who have absolutely no money down, okay? Even for investors, investors that have no money down who can help them buy a property. So from $100,000 to $100 million and above, we'll do it domestically and internationally. Okay, a lot of, if you go to strip malls, like I was a, a real estate broker for a long time, but guess what, I didn't know anything about selling properties to self-employed people, including realtors. Realtors, how do you sell a property to realtors? I've never, be, I've never bought a property from the bank. The first property that I bought from the bank and the last property that I bought from the bank, as a matter of fact, was back in 2000, 2005, 2004. Yeah, yeah, 2004. That's the, that's the last property. No, my second, my home here in, in Newark. That's a property, that's, that's the last property I bought from the bank. So I became a real estate agent. So what you do? You're a real estate agent. You make a lot of money, but how much are you going to declare? Not a lot, right? Not a lot. So you got to do a food dog. So how did I buy properties? I bought a lot of properties, all hard money. Hard money is expensive and it can be very dangerous. It can stifle you. It can kill you, right? So, but then on t when I started this money market, and the money market actually took off in 2000 to th during the pandemic, okay? Exactly like June 2002, uh, 2020, okay, 2020. That's when it really took off. So now I got a whole bunch of, you know, like I said, a, a, a whole gamut of, 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 of uh, mortgage products. Okay, we can fund people who are self-employed, can fund people who would, uh, only have uh, bank statements, just bank statements, or people that have just 1099. Somebody can come to me, I just have 1099. Okay, we'll do even verification of employment. Okay, so we'll do things that right now provide solutions that I didn't know existed, right? And some mortgage lenders, or if you go to the bank, for example, go to Chase, they might not have the solutions that we have. That's how I call it, the Amazon for mortgage solutions. Some brokers might not even have the solutions that we have because they might specialize in certain things. Okay, but only do the agency loans. That means they only do the, uh, the things that you take to Quicken and, and all that. But we do that and more. We do hard money because I, I have such experience in, in flipping properties. So we help hard money people. I, I have experience in doing real estate development. So I know how to fund those things. And then now we have a whole bunch of lenders. Okay, why not? Amazon is, is one of the top companies in the world, right? If not the top company in the world. So why don't we be the Amazon for mortgage solutions? And then on the back end, for people who are really interested in, in exploring opportunity to make money, I, I tell them that we are the what? We are the Uber for mortgage solutions. Because whether you're a real estate agent or a self-employed person, they want to look at this gig economy. Gig economy is very popular right now. So guess what? They can come to us. They, all they have to do is they can just get the mortgage license, right? And they can make money on demand. We give them leads also, right? 
So that's the thing. That's upside down because I can look at whose mortgage is expiring soon. Because we don't only do the com consumer loans, we do investment loans. So I can go to my platform and see whose loan is maturing soon. And I just call that person. And that person said, sure, like we have a few right now. I called the other day demonstrating. I call, I call, and one person had nine properties. We refinanced those nine properties. So the, um, the Amazon for mortgage solutions for the front end for the borrower, but the Uber for mortgage solutions for somebody who is entrepreneurial, somebody who wants to make some money. So I think you just answered my next question. What which, was it? Well, my next question was going to be, what's your market? But I think you just... Well, my market? Yeah. No, okay. So my market is basically, it's not just domestic. It's not just here. Our market is not just California. We're licensed in California, but we're getting licensed in other states right now. But that's for agency loans. But honestly, we have, we can do the entire United States, right, for investment properties. And in the future, we'll be able to do these other states, when we'll get licensed in those other states. But also do international in terms of big projects. If the project is big enough, like a development or a resort or something like that, we can fund internationally. Awesome, that's really awesome. Mm. And now we're gonna switch gears a little bit. Can okay. you tell us uh, why you started All About the Bay? Oh, All About the Bay, I always wanna bring joy to people. That's what, I, I have to live by that. You know, I know that life is stressful and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, I wanna bring joy to people. So I see a lot of small businesses, okay, small business owners, especially now the stress. Like, how do you buy a property if you 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 have this much money in the bank, or or okay, bet bet.